Pamakini. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, so I am Shelly Covert. I'm the spokesperson for the Nevada City Rancher and Nisenhan Tribe. So, permeability, saying yes to the cold winds. When I finally understood the poem, my relationship to the difficult was permanently altered. So here it is again. Although the wind blows terribly here, the moonlight also leaks between the roof planks of this ruined house. Yesterday I was so lonely I could barely walk, my friend being mobbed by her grandchildren as we made our way past the farmer's markets, delicata squashes, the last tomatoes. I couldn't think what to buy, came home with nothing but sweet peppers, myriad colors in a single flavor, an elusive, solitary note. I watched her lay her cheek against the downy faces, saying, love, 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 love. When my mother first came to America, she left behind my father and three-year-old brother to work in a hospital in Richmond, Virginia, where the only person she knew was the Peace Corps volunteer that stayed with her family when she was just a teenager. Family is a hollow thing, the animal worthwhile. 30 years later, I collect bones, hold them in their fragility, place them in light filtering spaces in my home to keep them from breaking, to remind myself that I break, that I am a bag of bones, generations bundled and left for vultures, clavicle, femur, tempered in tenderness, where a spine stands straight up, ever looking toward a sun covered in gray asking for forgiveness and solace. White rabbit, I am one thing, and then I'm something else. Catch me in the grass in the summertime, and crouch on your knees, and whisper like baby's breath, and open your big pink palms, and I'll come because that's what I do. I tell the chef of the house how delicious her food is, and she says back, Nusha Jun, a blessing that goes deep, a giving back of more than just the meal. Nusha Jun, I say it now. Sometimes I just say it in my head because I know the person eating my food doesn't know what it means, but I mean it. It comes without me ever learning it literally. It comes from wanting to keep the gratitude in the open, not shy. Is there something you could say to us in this room today about writing poetry, something long and complicated or pithy and short or somewhere in between about uh, persevering or some great idea or inspiration to send us home? Um, <clears throat> I think I'd say if you have a really good idea, even just a, a word or two in the middle of the night, and, and you don't want to get up and, and write it down, do it. Get up and write it down. <laughs> that's, uh, I'll keep, uh, to keep it short, that's what I'd say. I think that was fabulous. Short and pithy and perfect. Thank you, Sam. That's a very useful one. And Patrick, something we could take with us that would help us along our way as writers. Yeah, um, I love what Sam said, and I've loved your poetry, Sam. It's been delightful to hear you recite it. Um, I, I think I, I'd be curious for all of us, me, everybody, to, to, to give some attention to the stories that have shaped your life. And it can be easy to think, oh, well, let me therefore go to the Greek myths or to Gilgamesh or something that feels virtuous. But I suppose I'm interested in the ones that shaped your life rather than the ones that you think should have shaped your life. Today's sermon is that the world is full of light and shadow. You knew that and that we need the shadow to know who we are in all our broken wholeness. I don't know anything really, but I can bear witness with words that I hope might somehow make the world more lovely and livable. To be a poet is a strange task, and some days I wonder what I'm doing if I'm up for any other task than this noticing and shaping and being heartbroken again. Please don't tell me I don't want to know. 
please, please don't, don't tell, tell me. me. I, I don't, don't want, want to know. know. Chanted over and over with each temptation to think intelligently. Ignore it all may be right for you. Ask your doctor now. Uninsured side effects include heart failure, blood clots, broken bones and joints, arthritis, appendicitis, liver damage, kidney stones and failures, STDs, skin inflammation, itchiness, psoriasis, shingles, possible eye and hearing loss, bleeding, ulcers, bludgeoning, mishaps, all forms of cancer, nerve attacks, brain malfunction, dementia, possible death when combined with other over-the-common counter drugs. Murder bills, existential dread, too much going on in your head, ignore it. The reserved parking space at the cemetery lot has orange cones in shapes of simple paper party hats. The mourners can't be bothered with looking for a convenient spot. His head shone while he offered recipes to the group using words which I couldn't understand. And besides, I was a little tipsy on the dance of the velvety heart rolling in my mouth, pulling me down and down into the oldest countries of my body where I ate my first fig from the hand of a man who escaped his country by swimming through the night and maybe never said more than five words to me at once, but he gave me figs. 